plug in now this this describes how we can uh, uh, size the water supply reservoirs in um, in an excel sheet so uh, if this is your given map uh, which is which gives uh, the percentage of average day and uh, the time of the day so usually this explains uh, the maximum demand is over over a day which means the hourly demand is and the lower curve indicates uh, the typical uh, winter day uh, demand uh, where you have uh, much rainfalls and uh, the, the consumption for the the water supply uh, from the normal lines will be decreasing because uh, there will be small buzzing, there will be um, a decrease in temperature, uh, so uh, the, the water requirements uh, for uh, other purposes like bushing will also decrease as a result uh, uh, there will be smaller demands. And uh, in the time of uh, the, the hot uh, times or in the, in the dry seasons, uh, the only water supply source will be uh, the, the normal uh, water supply pipe system. So uh, in that case, uh, we use the water for washing, for cleaning, and um, for, for drinking purpose also, it will be higher. So this indicates the percentage of demand um, in an average day. And uh, so this is in a form of percents, which means it is as a percent of the, the average demand. So, uh, uh, if you can uh, collect uh, data from this curve, uh, from the, the maximum one, because we are designing a reservoir, and the reservoir should be capable to store the water during the maximum time. So, uh, we can collect the points at, at different times from here. So, if you see, for example, at time 12 a.m., we have uh, like 100% uh, of average day. So, we can write that here as 100 at 12 a.m. And then if you check at another time here, uh, you have uh, 4 a.m. For example, 4 a.m. it is like uh, this is 100 and that is like uh, 120 or something like that. So you can come here and um, uh, at 4, you can see this 110, nearly the same. So you read the data in the same way over these curves. Okay? Now, we have a time interval data. This is in a form of person. So this is a high scale in a form of percent. In a form of what percent? It is in a form of the average day demands. So um, let's consider uh, the, the, um, the, the uh, average day demand uh, as uh, the, the uh, maximum demand or maximum percentage here. So uh, you can see uh, the, this is the maximum percentage uh, which, which reaches to like uh, 275. So let's see uh, our data as a ratio of the maximum demands. So, um, sorry, in a, in a form of uh, percent, uh, percentage to percentage to maximum demand. Okay. Percentage to maximum demand. Um, this will explain uh, the that if you have a maximum demand, you can assume uh, any maximum demand. But usually, you have to determine from the population's need. So, let's say our maximum demand being 600, um, 600 meter cube. Um, 600 liter per second. Okay. So the the um, the, the uh, percentage to the maximum demand, uh, which means uh, in a formal percentage, uh, this is going to be the maximum percentage. So let's express the other in a form of this one. Okay, which means uh, we can say this is equal to uh, this over 274 because the per highest percent or the highest percentage of the highest demand in our case is. Uh, 274 and uh, for, for that value you can calculate uh, your, your data as a full percentage and uh, here's what you get so um, you can fix uh, uh, this this common data uh, if I say uh, format sales and uh, numbers I fix it to three digits it's, it's good enough so this is a percentage demand so this is the maximum demand, this we write uh, the data as a percentage of maximum demand. So um, the, the, uh, the, flow, uh, the flow out uh, in, a, in a given, um, the, the flow out in a given time should be uh, the, 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 the same as the demand is. Same time the flow in uh, should be calculated uh, from, from the required demand is. So uh, the uh, demand, uh, which is the flow uh, flow out okay flow out is equal to 
percentage times uh, the maximum demand. Okay, so you can take this with a dollar sign because this is a constant value. That means this is uh, your flow out. And usually this is in a liter per second. Okay, and usually uh, we, we the, the uh, flow in. Um, okay, the flow in. Uh, should be uh, equal to the average uh, the average uh, day demands. So if you take this one um, as an average, okay. um, the average uh, will be 380, as you can see. It. And though we can write 380.56 here, so average average demand uh, 380. So this is um, average demand. So uh, flow in, flow in should be equal to the average demand. Uh, so we have this value and uh, fix it uh, with a dollar sign. F4, and here is your value. So this is also in a liter per second. In a liter per second, and. Um, now, uh, if you want to get uh, the flow in and the flow out in terms of volume, um, uh, we have to express it in, in a form of uh, uh, this time span, in, in, in a form of uh, uh, the, the meter cube. So, um, if you want to convert this to meter cube, uh, so this is uh, vo in a volume in, uh, volume out, uh, volume in, for example, is a meter cube. Um, how can we express this? So this is our volume in, for example. So if you multiply this by the time, so the time interval is here. You can see here the time interval is one hour. So one hour times uh, 60 minutes times uh, 60 seconds, which means you have converted this into a liter completely. So if we divide this value from 1,000, then to be in a meter cube. So this is your volume in a meter cube, volume in. And uh, volume out, will be in a meter cube again so do the same thing for this one which is equal to uh, volume out times uh, one hour times 60 minutes and times 60 seconds and over a of thousand it will give you the um the, the uh, volume out in a meter cube so this is your volume out and then uh, now we can take the change in volume d in volume in, in a meter cube okay the change in volume so that is equal to volume in minus volume out. Okay. So you can find that. You can see uh, at some places uh, you have a negative value, at some places you have a positive value. You have a positive value means the volume in is greater than volume out, so there is a sufficient water. And uh, the, 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 this negative means volume in is uh, less than volume out, so uh, there must be an additional water that should be stored in a reservoir. So uh, this, is, this is what we get, so um, the mi minus sign, you see, it is being decreasing uh, to minus 742, so in order to allow, um, uh, in order to find zero points, so where the, the reservoir becomes completely empty, uh, we would like to move this time to the top, because it is positive, in which, which means in between these points somewhere, there is a reservoir zero point, because this is negative and this is positive. So um, I'll take this time because it is a continuation of uh, the 12 a.m. is a continuation from uh, the 11 p.m. Then we can move uh, this row uh, okay, to the top. So you can move this row to the top, and uh, this is your your, uh, your change in volume. And then uh, you can find uh, the total storage. So accumulated accumulated the storage, uh, which is in meter cube. Uh, the accumulated storage will be equal to uh, the storage at time t uh, plus uh, this, the current storage plus uh, the previously existing one. So at this point, we, we can consider it, uh, it is the same at this value, okay? Uh, if, if the previous storage is zero, okay? Uh, so it, it, this, this will help us to assume that the previous storage is equal to zero because we have seen that uh, the negative changing to positive and then between that point, we know that is a positive, uh, there is a zero point. So uh, uh, this is if the zero is the previous storage on so the previous storage plus the currently created um, change in storage, 
will be the total story available. Then when you come to this time, time uh, 12, so the this current storage in the reservoir will be previously existing storage plus uh, the additional storage that will be created from 11 to 12. So with that uh, perspective, you can calculate uh, for all, all the, the data you have. And then if you see here, so we nearly reached uh, VRA 0 point, so if you fix uh, these data into two digits for example, format sales and uh, to two digits, okay. so you have uh, or, or, or to one digit, this is a huge number, uh, so we can fix this to, to one digit, uh, so you fix it to one digit, so you'll see that you'll find a zero point um, at time t is equal to 10 pm. So um, your storage will be uh, the, uh, the maximum of this one. So you have to find the maximum. So you can say just equal to the maximum. And uh, again, select this data. And find the maximum of this all. Okay, close your brackets. And they equal to so 337.55.03 meter cube with the total storage amount. Uh, that, that, that is uh, maximum in our time span. So which means uh, your reservoir should be capable of carrying at least this volume of water. So this is um, the calculated volume, V calculated, is equal to 375, so 375.03. And um, uh, V for, for safety, uh, you might consider like uh, usually, um, you consider like 10% of the, the uh, total one. If you consider like 10%, which is so this is uh, for safety value so V uh, which is for design uh, should be equal to uh, this plus uh, this one okay so this is the total volume for which you should be designing your structure again um, when you design a structure uh, uh, we, we can determine the diameter and uh, the height of our structure uh, from this volume but when you do that um, you have to allow an opening space uh, in the reservoir because uh, you don't fill the water to the top of your reservoir. So this is uh, how we come up with uh, the, the maximum uh, volume uh, for which we have to design our structure. So if you see in this case, the volume, uh, positive volume or accumulation volume will increase and reaching um, 3755 at this point. Okay, and uh, then start decreasing. So that is the maximum storage that our structure needs to carry so this is it and that is how we we uh, we come up with uh, the maximum storage design